have the safety upgrade for the truck. But the big news, this installation method has never been done before. Hi, I'm David. This channel is about transitioning from the rat race to full-time RV living. The safety upgrade that I'm going to install today is a 60-inch LED, triple LED, Calgate light bar. Now these are typically for trucks, but you can also put them on trailers, on the bumper of a trailer, uh, possibly some Class A, B, or C RVs, maybe some minivans, SUVs. It really depends on what your setup is. If you have police to install it, it doesn't, doesn't look terrible. Now the way these the installation, standard installation for these is you peel off the backing and you apply it to your vehicle. The challenge with a lot of trucks is there's an access hole to allow you to remove your spare tire. So if you stick this to your truck, you cover up that access hole. So my creative installation is as follows. This is a, actually it was a 100 foot roll of magnetic, flexible magnetic stripping. I originally used this in my video, my SUV, I think it's called um, Stealth Camping's Window Screen Install. I'll put a link to that video at the end of this video, so if you want to watch that. My thought was, hmm, instead of sticking the tailgate light bar to the truck I'll glue it to this and then I will install it magnetized to the truck this way if I wanted to get to the uh, uh, access hole for the spare tire I can just move it out of the way or pull it off completely the way these work is it's four pin adapter you plug it in you're good to go only problem with that is your wiring hanging down here doesn't look too good also this extra wire is for your reverse light there's also a light on here for the reverse if you don't install this you don't have a reverse light you still have your, your standard reverse lights but this is extra light but the way you have to do is you have to you have to wire this to your reverse light on your um, truck here and I'm not very mechanically inclined, so I'd be cussing up a storm, so I'm not going to do that. Um, also, if you don't have a four pin adapter, this product comes with a separate adapter with all the wires loose and you can wire it all in, but uh, I'm not going to do that. So, but here's another idea this is a, a Kurt four pin adapter and traditionally what these are for is if you have a seven pin trailer hitch but you don't have a four pin you can plug this in from underneath the side of your truck and then you've got an extra this thing will be dangling out and you got so now you have both you got your seven pin and then this four pin but the trick with these is or not a trick but the uh, opportunity with this is I can plug this in the back of my truck plug this into the factory harness and plug this into the light bar all this will be behind the, uh, the bumper here also the center wire on these the center wire the center white wire is the reverse light so I'm going to attach the red reverse light wire to this so therefore I don't have to mess with removing that and figuring out how to install that and messing up the warranty or whatever so uh, these are coming these are handy okay so what I did was I unplugged the factory uh, plug to the back of the, to the back of the bumper and I had to actually lower my spare tire to get to to get enough leverage to pull this off I couldn't get to it um, speaking of, it's always a good idea to double check your spare tire because a lot of times what people do is they air up their tires but they forget to put air on their spare tire and then when they have a flat, guess what? They're on the side of the road with a flat spare tire. <clears throat> so 
I'll plug it. I'll plug this is the current adapter. It plugs in here to the factory wiring harness, and then plug the other side into the back of the bumper. And then this is the four pin adapter right here. Um, it does work. So now what I have to do is splice in the red reverse light to the center white wire on the adapter to make sure the reverse lights work. So all the other lights do work. Now I just got to get the reverse lights to work and then I can show you the finished product. All right, here's the uh, finished product. The magnetic strip was exactly, almost exactly the same width as the light bar strip. Worked out fine. Um, right about there is the hole that's covered up. So a good thing I can remove this. Another advantage of using the magnetic strip is you don't have to remove your tailgate to apply it. You still could peel and stick it, but there's not a whole lot of room down here and it's easy to make a mistake. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing below and there's also a bell notification so you won't miss any future videos. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it.